So I wanted to spend a minute or two talking about suicide. And I want to first acknowledge that I am not anti-suicide. I am a believer in the right to die and I'm a believer in the freedom of the individual to take control over their consciousness, over their very life. And I think that there are times when the choice to no longer be a conscious being on this planet and this plane of existence is an absolutely valid choice. In fact, it's something that I think about more frequently than I probably admit. To me, the thought of suicide, the thought of death can be a very powerful recalibrator and anchor for me when I'm struggling. Because sometimes I feel like life sucks. I suck. I've messed this up. I've, I'm stuck here. I'm always going to be like this. This is always going to be that way. And I just can't do it anymore, you know, and or to make the changes it would just be too hard. And so if I entertain the concept of ending my life, then I'm able to go to this next phase that I find so helpful. I think, okay, before you take all options away, before you end everything, before you eliminate every human experience possible and cease existing as a human, what are some possible things that you might want to try before you finally give up? It's like, all of a sudden, there are so many things that I've never done, and so many places I've never gone, so many things that like, well, gosh, I guess I don't have any tattoos. Maybe I should, before I decide that I'm done living, maybe I'll tattoo my face. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, you know, get a one-way ticket to an island. Maybe I will dedicate my life to some dedicate my life, dedicate, if I'm ready to die, then all I need to do is dedicate the next week to some charity or, you know, give all my favorite things to some kid. I mean, there's just, the list gets massive. And I suddenly realize, oh my gosh, I've been sitting here eating this dish of food, my life experiences at this incredible restaurant that serves everything. And I've decided I don't like this food anymore. I guess I'm never going to eat again. Well, try some other stuff. And sometimes it's that pondering of suicide that snaps me out of my feeling of being trapped and goes, oh, wait a minute. I just don't like what I perceive to be my choices right now. With a little bit of work, I can jump out of this. I can, and there might be consequences. I might hurt someone's feelings. I might be disliked by someone. But small price to pay to to get a facial tattoo or whatever the crazy notion that I used to think was crazy, but in the context of nothing, seems silly and fun and whimsical. So we So I embrace the idea of suicide as as a as a, a valid idea to con to, to to ponder. Alan Watts he said that that's the fundamental question of all philosophy is, is the game worth the candle? Is, is it worth it to go on? And everything else is kind of secondary. So all that being said, you know, I don't believe that most people who are deciding to end their lives are doing so from a place of, okay, I've tried everything. I've done everything I want to do. I'm now in pain or I, I there's, there's, I, I've thought this through in a very logical way of sound mind and body. And I decided that, um, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this lifetime. It's given me everything I wanted way, way too often. It is a byproduct of depression and mental illness of, of some sort. I was medicated for depression and anxiety for over 10 years. So I do not minimize or belittle the condition of depression and the power of that chemical imbalance on your thoughts and your reality. If you have never been depressed, it is very hard to understand and it is very hard not to 
to, you know, hand wave it and say, just snap out of it, pull yourself out of your bootsteps, whatever. And it's very hard. If you have ever been there, you, uh, you can understand why suicide can be so tempting and seems like it's a realistic option because you cannot, as, when you are depressed, you do not think, oh, I feel depressed. I feel like I have a funk. There is a cloud over me. That's not it. You think the world sucks. I suck. Everything is terrible. You see the difference there? You're not aware that there is a reason between the awesomeness of the world and you that's causing you to feel badly. You just are, you conclude with absolute certainty that life is terrible. So if you are in that pondering of suicide state, yes, valid thought, please consider it and think about how that can open up other paths and choices for you. But next, get some third party to have a little bit of a look-see at you and your mindset and the way that you are making choices and acting and see, are you coming from a place of brain illness? Because it's absolutely real. If you find yourself saying things like, this always happens, this never happens, that's a good sign that you are not thinking clearly. Nothing always happens or never happens. And if you're arguing with me right now because your life is so terrible, I get that. I used to do that too. The last thing that's, that would, and the worst thing that you could do when I was depressed was to try to convince me why my life was so great or why I shouldn't be depressed because then I would dig in and build up this strong argument about why I was such a loser or why I would never do anything. And, and the third thing that I would just share if you are thinking about ending your life or have someone well, if you, you know, I'm talking to you, if you're in that place, is there are people out there whose lives are, if they're not already incredibly enriched by you, they will be. Depending on where you are in your life, maybe you're young, and when I say young, I mean under 35, and you're still figuring out who you really are. Maybe you're still gaining the courage to shine your light in the world, which is no shame in that. It is a harsh world. And it seems like there's no other choice but to try to play the game and try to be what you're supposed to be. But eventually, that game grows tiresome and you let your light out and somebody who can appreciate it will see it. Somebody will see your brilliance, see your uniqueness, and you'll make their world better. You'll give them the courage to let their light out. And you will find a tribe of people. You will find a community of people that is absolutely in love with you treasures you, treasures you when you're in a funk, treasures you when you're up, don't want you to be anything but what you are and are so happy that you exist in the world. And if you're considering suicide, there's a good chance that you don't have that group in your life right now. Either you haven't found them or some momentary fumble made you feel like they don't like you anymore. You something. So let me just say from a 44 year old man that you kids there's a place for you it may not look like what you've been expecting and that's part of why it's important to consider what are your options if you have to have a life where you have this kind of job and you have this kind of house and one there's a whole bunch of scripts in your head that you need to start analyzing and figuring out why and where do those things come from because they were taught to you. They did not, you weren't born feeling like you needed to have a nice house and make a lot of money. And once you start to letting go of the what you think you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to do, and you start to actually let out what you are, yes. 
some people are going to be repelled by that and reject that because they are still subscribed to the scripts and you are an affront their whole concept of reality how dare you not take that promotion how dare you because for them to actually look at why you didn't take the promotion means that they have to think about why did i sacrifice so much of who i am to play this game so okay you're not super happy right now you're not loving it Fine, life is not supposed to be pina coladas on the beach. It's supposed to be a grand adventure. And right now, you are battling a flicking dragon. It's in your head. But you will beat it. And you will be heroic in your epic story. And you will be proud that your journey was a doozy. Because getting through all this is going to turn you, convert you, push you to grow and to be the kind of person that is a gift to the world. So thank you for your courage. I look forward to meeting you maybe many years from now, maybe tomorrow, but stay alive. It's always an option. Maybe try a few things before you tattoo your face. I'm just saying, whatever. There's a lot of choices. Know that I love you. I treasure you on this planet. And even as you are in pain, I don't wish it to be gone from you. I admire your strength as you work through it because the world needs warriors and your training is a part of that gift to the world. So thank you for trudging on and I'll see you on the other side. I love you.